Time Magazine released its annual list of best inventions of the year, and a University of Iowa professor had a hand in one creation. That invention is called TEMPO. It stands for Tropospheric Emissions Monitoring Pollution. KCRG TV 9's Rebecca Vaughn sat down with the Iowa professor who helped make the invention a reality. We're now at T minus 35 seconds. Those are the sounds heard at the launch of the rocket back in April carrying Tempo, a satellite designed to capture more accurate, in-depth readings of air quality across North America. So this is a very revolutionary instrument because now you can have a, a run-of-the-clock measurements. Before Tempo, satellites measuring air quality could only send back readings once a day on a two-dimensional plane. Tempo can send back data every hour on a three-dimensional plane. If they are closer down to the surface, then they will have a bigger impact on the color of air we, we breathe because we live uh, uh, at the surface. He related the invention to what was seen from the Canadian wildfire smokes over the summer months. He said the 3D monitoring will be able to give information on where in the atmosphere smoke like that is sitting and when it's most dangerous to breathe. So, so by using Tempo, you are able to do better projection of that. You are able to better track when and where uh, they are coming to our neighborhood. Tempo just sent back its first air quality readings to scientists in August, as shown in this video from NASA. It shows real-time measurements of pollutants in the air, something Wong thinks could lead to improvements in pollution levels and people's health. So by measuring air pollutants in every hour, but predicting the air quality, we can provide better alerts to the, our citizens so that they can avoid the exposure to the high level of air pollutants as much as possible. The information collected from Tempo could be used in public alerts by next spring. In Iowa City, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG TV9 News.